favorite video. So now we're on the fourth episode of what is basically turned into our Road to Glory series on the FIFA Mobile uh, 22 beta. Now, obviously, again, it's a lot easier to do this uh, on a beta where you can't buy FIFA points, but I kind of like doing this, uh, and I think I want to move this sort of into more of a consistent thing in the next season of FIFA Mobile. Uh, you know, sort of just following along with our journey on the game, giving you some tips and tricks along the way. Uh, so if you do want to see more of videos like this, make sure to smash that like button. Let us know in the comments below, uh, and be sure to subscribe, turn the notifications on, so you can be first on every single video. Uh, but uh, here's basically what we're going to cover in today's video. We're going to look uh, first at the penalty shootouts in FIFA Mobile because we have the end of our match right now where we did take it to PKs uh, to see what it looks like when we do penalty shootouts. We're going to look at some of the best teams in FIFA Mobile as well, uh, including uh, what I can only assume are prime icons and uh, looking like iconic moments uh, based on what we know from FIFA Console. Uh, and then we're also going to look back at the market again uh, and show you some sort of tips and tricks uh, that we've picked up if you're still having some trouble selling things on the market uh, and sort of look at how we ended up getting two million coins on the market right now so definitely excited about that we'll give all your latest team upgrades all of those things and show you a good way to actually pack elite players uh we packed an elite player out of this method like every single time so i'm thinking there's a good chance to get an elite player in it uh but let's go all right so we're at the very end of this game right now so we'll see all the new animations uh for penalty shootouts how to do it when you're on attack how to do it on your defense uh so first of all the one big difference here uh is uh I just I think in the swiping you see that extra line that kind of goes through uh, when you're doing this in the box wall and stuff before Hold on. I got to see I'm, I'm assuming that I can just tap it. Yeah, okay So you can tap it before too. Uh, Oblock goes with the nice little uh, dive there, but the wrong directions doesn't really help um, But uh, I do like that little uh, extra sort of look of where the ball is going uh, You can seem to change direction after your original decision, uh, but I don't really know how much that is needed So I'm gonna see if I can make another save uh, Obviously in the last version of FIFA Mobile the best thing you Oh big save! To say the best thing you can do is stay down the middle and eventually they shoot it down the middle It could be the same thing for this one as well um, I, The one thing I do want to see is if we end up doing In one of them if you held your finger down in the middle Oh, it didn't work. I, in one of them, if you held your finger down in the middle, then that uh, dot would appear and you could actually chip the keeper. Oh, I'm the one, I'm the one on the goalkeeper. Okay, he's looking. Oh, big save. Big save right there. Let's go. I made two saves right now. Okay, I'm, I'm very good at this. So we get to see the last one. Same sort of walk up as we had in the last FIFA Mobile here. You can see him walking up for this one. Looking to the left. Where is he going to do it? I'm going to try and see if I can chip it here. All right, chip, chip, chip. Not so much, but we did get the victory there. So uh, the victory in the penalty shootout. Uh, so most of it is basically the exact same as what we had before. You see the celebration here at the end. Uh, everybody kind of running up to, uh, I feel like it's maybe a bit more uh, out of that end game celebration. Oh, they're lifting them up too. I don't know if we've seen that before. And this brings us to where we actually have a really good way of getting things. So once you finish off the star pass and you get 3000 FIFA points a day, so what you can do is you can actually like move yourself along the star pass uh, by just buying the each of them with the FIFA points that you get daily. So when you log in every day on this beta, you get uh, 3,000 FIFA points plus the thousand that you get every time you claim it every 12 hours. Uh, so you can get yourself to the end. Once you get to the end, what's really cool, so every time you get 200 extra star pass credits, which you get from grinding head to head, you get from grinding verse attack, uh, up to a limited day. I don't know how many it is every day, but it's probably around 15, 20, I don't know, we played a lot of them. Uh, it might actually be like 10 of them, but basically you can, you get star pass uh, points from there. You get 42 points every time you win a head-to-head -head match. I think you get half of that uh, when you win a verse attack match. And you get less, I think, if you lose and you draw, but uh, pretty decent for that. So basically, uh, every like, five-ish, uh, a little bit less than five matches that you win in head-to-head, -head, you get yourself one of these players. Now, it does say gold or higher. I have not packed a single one of these that has not been an elite player. Uh, so if you have opened this, let me know what you've packed out of this. All right, so we're going to claim this here. We're going to see if we can get a big addition to the team. Uh, then we're going to go show you kind of how we like to sell things on the market with this. As we go in, come on, walk out. Walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out. No walk out there, but oh, that's not bad though. That's not bad. I wonder how Isaac's going to be in here. Uh, he is valued at 617,000, uh, and he's got some decent all-around stats. Uh, so he could possibly be a card that will get us some uh, good coins in this one. Um, but basically, when we go to the market, the one thing about this market is uh, you need someone to want to buy it, right? And right now, nobody has any coins, so nobody can buy anything. Uh, and if you look at our player right here, 158 people right now are trying to sell this card at 570,000. Um, but if you watched our video yesterday, uh, and I'm going to use Davies as an example so you can see this. 
Um, and, and we talked about how this would be good to see. Uh, if you look at Davies right here on the on the video, uh, last time we saw Davies, his price range was like was different than the one we have. So his price range actually been changing. Last night, his price range uh, was I think somewhere between 550 and 580. So his seems to be changing a lot. Some of the other ones don't seem to change as often. So I'm not sure like when it changes, how it changes. But every once in a while, some of these price ranges are changing. Uh, and these ones that are like very very heavily like. Um, basically like way in demand of selling but not in demand of buying uh, you can see like a, a card like this it, it's gonna eventually go down and so that's what happened with uh, one of the cards that we have over here so that's what happened with this card right here uh, so we're one of the first people to be on here at the 513 because if you're the hundredth person you're probably not selling it even if you're the first and second you may not sell uh, this card for 513,000 coins because nobody has any coins this game I think once people start getting coins and the market maybe gets a bit more active hopefully we'll see this uh, change I would like to see bigger uh, price ranges on this but anyways uh, that's a separate thing uh, that we have from there um, uh, but uh, the one thing with this is is if this price range changes like checking to make sure these price ranges haven't changed for you so you can try and get in on the lowest price to be the the first person there so every once in a while I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna recheck these prices and then if I want to try and re get in on that price um, I'll just go in here and then I'll say okay 631 um, I'm selling for 631 uh, actually I'm starting for see look there you go I had him at the lowest price of 665 now he's 631 so he's actually dropped to 631 so I missed out on this one um, but I do have a better chance of doing that so if I just click sell again at 631 uh, now I'm selling at 631 but you see what happened there with party is that his price actually lowered from when I originally did it. So we can kind of go along and see how many of these are sort of working like that as well. So again, most of these other cards that we have, uh, we're selling at the, at the price range that they have it on there. Um, so kind of keep checking your cards and as it goes down, uh, you know, look at that. And, and eventually, hopefully it'll find this point where it's like, okay, now people actually want to buy and people want to sell. I think that would be the ideal thing uh, of, of having a market like this. But uh, um, for now, you can make some good coins. We made 2 million coins just kind of watching when that price drops and when that price drops kind of picking up the first sell on that one because I think all the elite cards based on how many are selling and how many are buying are very very overpriced now there is a few players here though that are not like that if you look at a player like Salah he's actually uh, I don't know if it's still like yeah look at Salah so nobody is selling Salah so if you have a Salah card you could sell this card instantly for 1.2 million coins if you pack Salah it is an instant sell right there for 1.12 million coins uh, and then again, there's people that want it below there. So this price is most likely going to keep rising. Uh, and I think Davies is a great example of this. The card has been going up, it's been going down uh, based on how many people are kind of looking at buying and how many people are wanting to sell it. So this is one of those ones where if you look at this, getting Salah is one of those ones that's going to be, if you can pick them up uh, and you can actually sell them for that price, you may actually end up getting a really good deal. And you can see, I can even go higher than this person at 1.12 million. Uh, so I could go in here, I could pick him up for 1.12 million, uh, 1.2 million. But again, who knows what he's going to end up going up to. He may continue to go up in price or he may plateau here once people start packing him more. So obviously it's a risky investment for me to pick up this most Salah card. Although I kind of do want to do some gameplay with this Salah card. Uh, so so I might end up having to do that in the next one. All right, but I got to show you this here. So if you go to the Division Rivals, and I have to go actually to Verse Attack. Uh, so when we look at the leaderboard here, there's actually some decent teams right now uh, already in this one. 94 overall right here with Del Piero, Kane, Timo Werner, Son, Sancho. Uh, really good looking team. They got Schweinsteiger playing on defense. It's very nice. Uh, so 94, I think that's like the highest team I've actually seen here. 93, 93. Uh, yeah, highest team right there. Looking to be about 94 overall. Again, in our last video, we said this. If you're trying to get your OVR up, uh, make sure to remove players from your bench because those players do count towards it. But if you go to previous leaders, uh, we actually have some players in here uh, that are like ridiculously. Now, I'm a little worried about this because if you look at some of these cards, their stats are actually like a little bit too high. Uh, their stats in this one, uh, in my opinion, I, I'm hoping we don't see stats of this. Uh, goalkeeper that has 100 and 71 goalkeeper dives. So it looks like there's like literally no limit to stats right now on cards. Um, so I'm a little bit concerned about that, uh, especially because I feel like, you know, gameplay looks really well when the cards are below 99 stats. And then as soon as they go up, that's when we start to see like crossing, stuff like that. So I don't know, if you've played the other versions where they do go up to this, you can let me know how you feel about sort of these bigger stats, how the gameplay feels with these 
these higher stats and stuff like that if it kind of you know makes it so it's a lot easier to abuse mechanics those kind of things um but uh some very nice card art i'm assuming this is like an iconic moment card uh they call it a top of europe player so i'm not really sure what that is and then we got our i'm assuming this would be our base icon card uh so again we got george best here with lots of 130 stats going in there uh thierry Henry as the striker again uh lots of good stats what's interesting about this though is that again um they're not high ovr so ovr wise it's actually very low but stat wise they have some very good stats so it'll be interesting how that sort of plays out there uh patrick cloyvert here oh man patrick cloyvert with 165 165 169 finishing uh and then some of these defenders let's look at this kula bali here so kula bali 132 145 um stats on there as well and i guess like it is all relative like a 145 player and maybe maybe in a way it does end up being okay because if they're going to go above this anyways you know then at least a better player that comes out can actually be a better player uh i just feel like at some point how can you have a player that you know once you get a player that's 300 overall or 200 overall sprint speed how can a player be 300 overall sprint speed? how can they even be faster is kind of where i'm looking at that but maybe maybe it'll work out i don't know um it, it seems like a very scary thing to kind of have um but uh, again 154 150 sprint speed uh on that one as well with long so I, I definitely like the card art look on that one we also have this other team and I, and I love the look of this team right here uh and it is actually a bit higher overall but in this one the 109 team oh my goodness I'm gonna guess that's a full prime icon team based on the card art uh looking like the comps card i'd say that's prime icon card art there so everybody except for vandersar in net here is a uh, prime icon and it might just be because he might actually be a prime icon but the 99 uh version of it and no, i actually think he's the his moment oh interesting this looks like the same vandersar card i think this is the same vandersar card as the one that becomes a moment card at 100 overall so what interesting about it is maybe they swap to uh a different uh, look when they hit uh, 100 overall with that kind of card art. But anyways, we got uh, Maldini here as left back. A very crazy pace. Maldini. Some of the players are a little bit out of position as well, but really nice looking squad there. Uh, Lampard. Ronaldinho in there as well. 166 on the acceleration. Great looking card. Lom. Oh man, Lom. But he's not nerfed. This this Lom is the real deal right here. High, high work rate. Dives and tackles. Team player. Uh, all of those kind of things. So those are some of the nicest squads we've seen. I haven't seen other squads uh, that level, but if you found other squads in this game that are like super, super uh, awesome and we need to check out, make sure to let us know. Um, but those are the top squads that we got right now. I'm still torn about this Salah card. I really like, I kind of want to pick them up. Um, I do have the coins to pick up Salah, so what I'll say is if you want to see them gameplay with Salah, uh, if you want us to pick them up, uh, put in the comments below so we know, know that you want to see that, uh, and we will definitely do that in the uh, next video. Uh, for claiming our daily rewards, we'll see what we get in this one. Walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out! We got to walk out! It's going to be? Come on, big, big, yo! Oh my goodness, let's go! Let's go! We got Mora there! 87 overall cam i was uh, i i i think i was thinking like no oh but i don't know if we can get a a, a master thinking neuer for a minute there uh but obviously not when it became a cam cam neuer out of position cam neuer uh but i definitely 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 am a fan of that one right there so a huge huge pull right there uh getting more out of that one i love to see that all right, so definitely claiming your daily rewards is a great way to do these packs. We got two more of these just from doing our uh, dailies uh, because you get so many points. You get like 100 points for doing every single one of your daily ones. Uh, so once you get through this, definitely going to be some fun pack openings we got here. Uh, so next one we got up, hopefully we can do back-to-back -back walkouts. No walkout there and actually not a very high OVR at all. Uh, but we do have our final one here. So our final pack of this one today before we go play some head-to-head -head and finish this video off is going to be walkout again. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Yo, son. Oh, my goodness. We just packed son. Let's get it. Huge 89 OVR son out of that pack. That is a massive, massive pull. 956,000 on the value. I'm not sure that I'll be able to sell him for that. Uh, but there you go. Right there, too. We got son. A big, big pull. Oh, look at this. Son is an instant 1.5 million sell. Look at this. Right here, we can list him. One person wants to buy it. We're selling Sun right here. And there we go. Claim it. 945,000 there on Sun. I love that. Let's go. 2.8 million total coins. We got some room to buy some players now, folks. Oh, yeah. Do I have my subs? Okay, good. I do have my subs. I got Del Piero sitting on the bench. Del Piero's going to make a very good super sub. He seems to have very low stamina. 
Uh, so I, I like him kind of being a super sub for us at the end of the game because I think he could actually play pretty well. Uh, but he does seem to lose his stamina fairly quickly. Uh, all of our strikers lose it pretty quickly. Uh, probably because I just don't lay off the, uh, the sprint speed button with him. So Foden coming with this one. He's going to get in there. He does have the rainbow flick. Rainbow flicks it up. Stop and turn. You know what I really like, though? The step over move from these cards is so good. Oh, come on. Give me a foul there. Ooh. Oh, Schweinsteiger. Hey, Davies. Our first look at Alfonso Davies in game. Let's go with the Davies. Good little play from Davies there to win the ball, Griezmann. Griezmann from the top of the 18 finds some room, but could not get that out. We're still controlling this play really nicely early on in this one. DeVray's going to go. Come on, Davies. Yo goes for it. Take it out. Oh, we get there first. Beautiful defensive play right there. Uh, I was actually interested to get a red card because what I think might actually happen is you might actually be able to switch uh, a player out and put them into that center back position. Like, obviously, you can't take off the player that got the red card, uh, but move your players on the pitch around because you can move players around on the pitch. And I think my opponent did it one time, but I don't really know that for a fact. So it would be interesting to try and get a red card to see if I can do that. But here we go. Beautiful through ball to Timo Werner. Passes are really nice in this game, I have to say, but I'm so bad at shooting. Oh, my goodness. Timo Werner gets that up. Griezmann. Griezmann in the 18. Griezmann! Big goal from Antoine Griezmann! And uh, we'll swap Timo Werner out there for uh, Timo Werner. Big goal right there in the 74th minute from Griezmann. Nice little control there at the top of the box. Blast that thing with the left in the back of the net. And we got our substitutions coming in. Let's see what we can do here. Alfonso Davies again! Alfonso Davies! Okay, Alfonso Davies, what's your skill move? Dude, Davies has five-star skill. Oh, yeah, five-star skill moves. Holy. Here we go, Alfonso Davies. Alfonso Davies. Little step over action. Del Piero to Griezmann. And that's the full-time whistle there. Uh, I definitely am enjoying gameplay. I, I really am enjoying the gameplay on this one. Uh, but uh, thank you for checking this out. Thank you for stopping by. It has been a pleasure as always. Stop deep.